when I play with Babylon. This uh, is the best football show ever. Babylon! Babylon fit dead! Trust me! Madon's finesse in Sweden. Sweden, 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 Sweden. Us men are down in the DM. Down in the down in the DMs. Madon's finesse in Sweden. Sweden, 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 Sweden. Feel it up with no feeling. Alright. Yo, cup of fam! It's oh. Vooj here. I'm definitely a bit ill. Poet, what are you saying? You ill as well? You alright? No, no, I just got like, little, little nose sinus problem. Yeah, man's, yeah, but still, we're here. That's what I'm saying, fam. Man's gonna die in this chair. When I'm like 86. <laughs> At least you chair, and the chair have something in common there, because this chair died. <laughs> fam, I'm, I'm feeling like the chair right now, but the show must go on because the show never stops. Um, we probably got some comments before we go into the football, mate. We've got a lot of football to go into as well, I can't <laughs> lie. We have a lot to talk about. That Fiorentina kit is Fwegs. Yeah, yeah it was nice. How y'all gonna cover another kit? Well, here it is. It's because of the Klopp shirt. Yeah, why are you so negative, poet, from Ian Wright? I'm sorry, uncle. <coughs> I apologise. But... Why are you so negative, lad? You man look a lot better, you know? That's, that's hindsight, right? Is it hindsight? Yeah, that's hindsight. So I think I, I can be negative now. I can't lie. And I have to... Kappa, you have to be back you. Back, yeah. But look, look, we have another one. Joe Barley says, shout out to Stockport County, please. 22 games unbeaten, top of the league if we beat Boston on Tuesday. 6,311 attendance, which is a record for a sixth tier game. Finally on top after a tough 10 years. Go on! Go on, dog. Um, Stockport. We, we're gonna, it seems like we're beginning with the Merseyside derby. White Eagle, 456. Everton, 0. Liverpool, 0. After that, I'm going to have to start swinging at any glimpse of blue I see. No mercy, no survivors. But this one's a good one. Everton have Angry Birds as a sponsor in their stadium. That's a major L. For who? Because if you got Angry Birds as a sponsor and man didn't win, who's the Angry Bird? Who really takes the L? I can't lie. Jurgen Klopp takes a big L for me this, this game. Virgil van Dijk, I feel so sorry for him. I've seen bare people saying he needs to be player of the year. I feel so sorry for Virgil van Dijk. You can see it in his face. Is it? You could see it. He wants it in it. He wanted it so badly. Oh, I love that. You know that. how good he is. But player of the year it has to be. He's amazing. Who would take? Who else would take player of the year? It has to be Virgil. Bernardo Silva's up there with a shout. Raheem Sterling. But I just think for Virgil Van Dijk, he, what he's doing as a centre back is um is a job. every header, every pass, every interception. No one has gone past him in the past. I can't remember. Do you what really really say? He done a post on Twitter and he was like, he's strong, he's good on the ball, he's like giving all these qualities and his hair smells nice. <laughs> I was Is like, that what Troy said? That's what Troy Dini, I love Troy Dini. I told you. We love, we love told you, Virgil. Sure, and he's Peng. I feel so sorry for him. I can't lie, I do feel sorry for him. And I, you know, we have to obviously be a bit critical. He should be captain, by the way, as well. Definitely be captain. Uh, but of course, it's hard because Henderson is captain, so. <laughs> Go on, oh, Kappa. I was to tough. What I think it was tough in that game was watching it go, like Salah misses. You're like, hmm, that. it's going to be one of those games. And then obviously we need to win, isn't it? We need to win. Of course. So we're like, all right, if we draw, we're going to be one point behind. So we need to win this game. So yeah. you, have, you have a bench. You have Jadon Shachiri. Yeah. Yeah. Sydney. You have Keita. Yeah. You have Lana. Yeah. All right. Go on. And you have Milner. Okay. You need to win a game. Who do you put on? I think I haven't seen the game, everyone. I don't know absolutely anything. But who do you put on the last twenty minutes in those? Players? I think in them situations there, I'd put on. It looks like Shakiri out of the five. Okay. I feel like Milner came on. Yes. <laughs> so this is my. So, wait, 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 wait. So, so you haven't? He hasn't even seen it. I, right. swear, I promise. Okay, you. okay, okay. So who else would you put on? Uh, so, okay, Milner's gone on. Yeah, but Ronaldo came off. Milner came on, like for like, pretty much. Uh, Firmino came on for Origi, who started. Origi started. Who would you put on? Uh, the other, other, I think I'd probably put on some creativity, like Navigator or something. Like yeah, that. yeah, yeah, yeah. Who did he put on? Lalana for Sadio Mane. <laughs> and then Klopp blamed the wind. The so, Everton ball boy. <laughs> Yeah. At the end? What did he do? Like, it's an L. It's Liverpool take on massive L. He looked at him and he went... <laughs> and then Klopp came up to him and he was like, saying something and he carried on and he was like... <laughs> oh! I told you! And he walked away and oh. the Everton ball boy kept clapping. It's... I'm so, like, I love, obviously, I'm a Liverpool fan, isn't it? But I have to laugh, bruv. It's a See that area <laughs> of Merseyside? Get, make it the fucking capital of, of oh, Great Britain. Right. Klopp got clapped off the pitch by an Evertonian kid. Ball 11 boy. year old kid? Nah, it's an L. It confused me because obviously, uh, cool, we're in the title race. We were 10 points in front in, in January potentially. Yeah. Now we're one point behind. And we did say if Man City go in front, I know there's nine games to go. No, I said, I, I, I think we all admit if Man City go in front. <laughs> 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 Go 
<laughs> well, look, um, feel free to mock me as much as you want. Um, but there is a clock video live on Copper 90. Do check it out. In the interview, he doesn't blame the wind. Yeah, and then at the end of the game, he was like going around to all the players and he was like, come on. And then <laughs> Virgil just, Virgil just like he wanted to fuck everyone up. <laughs> Virgil's face. He had enough in it. He was like, you know, you know when like someone loses the ball? Yeah. And I was like, oh, he's had the enough. enough. When you speak to Rio Ferdinand, fam, and Rio Ferdinand tells you about the dressing rooms that Man United had. I think it's when you were, no, no, but when you're a real winner like Virgil van Dijk. Yeah. You can't be surrounded by man like no. Sadio Mane, who one day back heals it, and then the next day he's running out of the stadium and going jogging. He may love Klopp's craziness, but I feel like it's the, it's the joker balance that he has because he probably looks at the bench and says, bring on Naby Keita, and no disrespect to Lallana, you lot are model, you lot are professionals, fam, sorry. I know it's hard to become a professional footballer, but at the level you're at, some of you men are not good enough. And I would have been like, I know, if I'm, on, if I'm Van Dijk, and I'm seeing Lallana come off the bench when Naby Keita should be coming off the bench to me, I'm getting crazy. Even Chak, Shakiri. I obviously look. I'm happy that what Klopp's done at Liverpool is a good job, but that was a that last night was bad. I I don't understand his brain. I don't think anybody does. Obviously, he's great, but I'll leave your comments. What what would have you done about the subs? Who would have you put on? Uh, have Liverpool bottled it? You know, what happened to all the signs? Is there still Give hope? Give me a sign. <laughs> oh, I can't lie. I don't think we'll win the next year. Shout out to Everton though, they played well. Um, but anyway, look, boom, bing, bang, bosh. Spurs, Arsenal, 1-1. One, one. Leo Kraljevic, Arsenal, 1, Spurs, 1, mad game. Remember, he scores in his last derby. Leno pulls out a mad double save. Oh. King is from his offside, but Ben gets cool. He scores amazing. Well, maybe we gets a pen. Had a choice to either beat Spurs in the first draw of the season. Arsenal truly is an amazing club. More often for better than for worse. And absolutely got it. We couldn't take all three points from Zemir. What a strange game full of... I mean, VAR is coming, coming into the, the game next year, which will be... Uh, Interesting. Which would be quite interesting. I think I, I'll enjoy a VAR next year. VAR yesterday and we win the game, but... It's football, isn't it? It's day. Fo yeah, because a part of me is like, I'm really upset and I can blame all You might not teams. have gotten a pen at the end if it was VAR. We might not. Because it was like, it was, it was a pen, it was, it was like soft. That's what I'm saying to you, but then Kane wouldn't have got his pen because he was offside. So then we would end up winning 1-0. When and VAR, there's less to talk about, I can't VAR, lie. what are we going to do now? When talk VAR comes, there's less to talk about in comments below, We're going to do, talk about correct no decisions. No mistakes. <laughs> Well, let's have an in-depth conversation about how correct this was. Like, <laughs> this is not going to make any sense. I think VAR <laughs> is here to make everything perfect. And guess what, mate? You wouldn't get me like Tesco. if life was perfect. It's like Tesco, right? It's like, boom, when you go to Tesco and you want your shit scanned, they tell you, no, go to the machines. I'm like, no, 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 I want a human to do it. It's something happening in Napoli, Juve, so we're going to chat about that Later. in VAR. But look, in terms of Tottenham, Arsenal, it was a good game, man. Yeah. Tottenham, you can see they're a bit thin. Creativity as well. I think yes. they're a bit thin. They try to push up the wing backs all the time. They were getting the crosses in, but they weren't really getting anywhere. Do you know what? I've got to be honest, and I'm a lover of Poch. Can I say this? I'm yeah, a lover yeah, yeah, yeah. of Poch. They weren't really getting anywhere. I think Emery outclassed him. He did, he did, he did. I think Emery outclassed him. When everyone saw the opening team, I heard people say, where's Torero, where's Aubameyang, where's Ertzil? He did outclass and him. And that team there looked like a team of 11 people that don't mind having a fight. You can, I think you can see there was, there's pressure at the, at the end for Tottenham. The squad is too thin. They're running it thin. And you lot just wanted it more. You were in like, it's just, yeah, that was. I think like, we played better as well. We I think better. we created good opportunity. I think Lacazette should have had two goals. Yeah. I think, seriously, Tottenham Emery. Great. Tottenham great. Congr and one thing, I mean, Lacazette was really upset about coming off, and a lot of Arsenal fans are a little yeah, bit concerned whatever, and all that. But this is all I will say, man. Emery got it right. Because Lacazette comes off, a Bamiyang won the penalty. And Mikatarian and Bamiyang's relationship is pretty good, so yeah, so always. Leno's save. Leno's save. Oh, I was on the plane and I couldn't access the save. And I, I saw Vuj talking about it in, a, in our WhatsApp group and I saw everyone talking about the save. And I thought, bro, it's not even that good. Bro, that's out of this world. That's a De, that's a De Gea save. That second save is mad, isn't it? It's a ridiculous save. I don't think he meant it. I don't care. <laughs> he didn't mean it. <laughs> he just stuck out his hand and hoped for the best. You can't... Your reactions can't be that good. Superman was fucking impressed. Socrates uh -huh. is my uncle. Look, Socrates <laughs> had a Virgil van Dijk type game. Fam, I was he watching went it. Bull mad. He bullied Kane. Kane was so Kane had to go to Mustafi and get a look at pen pen. Because Socrates said today I'm doing this for Green I mean, Lane. He took, he took, I'm he for, took him for Tzadziki. You see the way Socrates loves defending. I want that type of love in my life because he's not good. He celebrated tackling. He tackled someone. Turned to the Arsenal fans and went. Rah! I said, my bro is nil nil. Yeah. <laughs> nah, I love that man. And Ramsey. He said, this is my home. No, I'm sorry. He was like, Malaka, Malaka. Arsenal, you're right, Ian Wright, everyone. 
for one week. Positive. Poet. I'm going to be positive, but one thing Get I'm saying in, is this. Poet. We're going to change We've you. got the draw, which tees us up nicely to say if we beat Man United, oh. everything is fully in our control. So this is what I'm going to say. I'm not going to be positive. I'm not going to be negative. I'm just going to be here. Neutral. And you lot have the power to P- make me call that. P- <laughs> you are right now PH7 on the I'm scale. I'm PH7. Or is it 6? Either way, is, is seven, 7. 7. All right, I'm PH7. Right, PH7. Stay there. Where don't I want to go? Because you're a rasta, man. I'm a rasta, And man. you, man, alkaline diet. You get me <laughs> PH7. <laughs> what? Come on. May not play with Babylon. This uh, is the best football show ever. <laughs> Babylon. <laughs> Babylon fit. Dead. Trust me. Trust me. I mean, it's a brilliant game. We have some VAR decisions. Um, potentially next year, you know, would the VAR made this game better? Leave your comments below. We're going to miss Ramsey as well, man. Arsenal fans, tell me how much you think we're going to... I saw how much we're going to miss, miss Ramsey. What's the game? Why don't you have VAR in real life? Then I'll be cool with it. We keep changing our mind on VAR. What do you guys think, obviously? I don't like it. Kane was offside for the pen. The officiating wasn't great. What would you mind. do? Going into Serie A, we have never done this before in comments, but Santos Satoris, I'm a Napoli fan. However, I speak on behalf of all the Serie A teams bar Juve. The league is handed to them each year, and yes, I accept the fact that they have a world class team. But last time, we really showed how much they favoured the referees. When I was dive bitly ignored by all four officials, which led to the one on the red card for Napoli, the game was given to them. It happens countless times throughout the season against every team. Juve aren't OP in the league, they just win every decision in the field. Well, here is on a is that chest or arm. They missed. Passed. That's not a pen, though, is it? That wasn't a penalty. So, wait, I'm sorry. Santo, but I'm gonna have to. I, was, I didn't watch the whole game, but I mean, that penalty wasn't really a pen, bro. How did that? Be, how is that a penalty? Because he's very close, like he's so close, and someone's behind him pushed him. It didn't hit him here. Bro, do you know how bad it, it is? That man grabbed, the man is three yards from it, grabbed the ball, and went to go take the corner. They are in or out, let us know. Man City had a nice. Liverpool are choking. City with a tough win away from home. <laughs> <laughs> but that's what champions do, fam. We win games in ugly waves. Come on, City. Title race. Win nice. games in ugly ways? Better for the first Bro, have you seen the stats from this game? Yeah. And I, I swear Klopp commented about this game. No, he never. And I think he said, oh, I, like you saw, it gets tight sometimes. Like, yeah. Tight? I don't know, I might be wrong, but... Tight? Bro. Tight? 23 <laughs> shots on target with zero on... Tight? <laughs> you're so if you're pre in Man City that hard when you're top, cuz that just says to me you're so scared that like, if you just got I, your group I of players and you're like, do you know what, we're cool, don't worry yeah. about them. The heat, Let's do our team. The heat in the kitchen has got to him. At the end of the game, when he's trying to amp up the players and he claps the fans. No way, man. He went to clap the fans, he was like <laughs> And it was like, ah, I know you're trying to do this thing, but And then even that comment for me, it's just like I can see through that. Yeah. I put Klopp on a massive pedestal. And I'm like, why are you making that statement? They battered Bournemouth. Hey, absolutely. Don't even comment. Bro. Be like, yeah, look, they did it. Like, you can't say, oh, why are they celebrating? They were, they're top of the table now. If the shoe was on the other foot and that was Liverpool, cuz, I'd be singing their praises right now saying, well done. No one's spoken about this. This is why we're the best football analysts to show in the world. I can't lie. They battered Bournemouth. 23 shots on goal. Zero. Bournemouth were at home and had zero shots. Not even a corner, not even a header. So the fans are basically watching a game and at no point did they stand up. <laughs> you know when the chance is coming, you stand up. They never stand up. Except to, go, except to go toilet. <laughs> to accept to go toilet and buy our one food. Bournemouth are the first home team not to have a single shot in a Premier League game since records began. Records began since they before they made vinyls. Listen, <laughs> for that you need to get relegated. There's no rules. <laughs> you need to get relegated. I'm calling Specs. There's no rules. You have to get relegated now. <laughs> I hear a lot of people being like, nah, by the start of the season, would have you taken that? Well, yeah, but at the start of my life, I would have taken my life. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But probably the middle shit. I don't know what happens, you know what I'm saying? Like, and there's context bro, to this life, bro. And I start, like when you were born, would have you taken the life you have now? Well, yeah, but there's all this stuff in the middle that happened that I probably wouldn't have I've, taken. Oh, me. I fully agree with that. Me, that uh, makes so much sense. Does the mood change if they beat Bayern Munich? Potentially more amped, yeah. But if we don't, how does the mood feel then? Bomb for clan. Find out on Friday's episode. Of <laughs> Keep leaving your comments, Man City level. We've gone back to that chat, but um, Chelsea Fulham. Fulham obviously already relegated. Why are Fulham trying to play like 97th? He's Brazil against us, so they've been shit all season. But we got three points. Cessna was offside, but great call from Linesman thoughts. Fulham are disgraceful this season. They are one of the worst. I was backing you guys because of Mitro and Jokanovic, but disgraceful. Let's be honest, they're a university. 
Oh, you, you're a uni team. They're a uni second team. team as well. Yeah, uni second team. Yeah. Uni was bare weird. Like I remember when everybody used to get drunk and like you remember like the football teams. Yeah. yeah. Like my guy drank piss. Like one guy had to be put in a bin. What 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 are you lot doing? Do you know, it's like it's like a it's like a lads bonding session. Oh, when I go it's less uni, about the football. At uni, I should have just left in the first week. Fulham Chelsea. Tell us about your uni experiences. Also, that's how much we care about this Fulham Chelsea game. Uh, <laughs> Callum Chambers scored. How about that? <laughs> Callum Chambers scored. Amazing. Well, look, United Southampton. Man U three trying to two. Sanchez's biggest contribution was getting injured. So Dallo can come on and make an impact. Do you see the goals in this game? Fucking bangers. No. Bangers, baby. Yo, the goals in this game were something else. Sir. Yeah, Amy Winehouse is bridging, scoring. Ward Prowse got a Man, free kick. It was mad over bro. there. Lukaku? Bruv. Bolt, you've got to take bro. it out. United fans. You went on big, big Sky Sports, cussing off Lukaku, and since you have four Sick. in two. Lukaku's been cold. Since me and Vuj spoke to him, I'm just uh, saying. That, just saying. The Lukaku yeah, video is coming. Valerie Bojanov with the first goal. Fam, top bins. <laughs> the kid Valerie. couldn't save that, fam. <laughs> <laughs> but he's been decent, you know. I've been watching Valerie. Yeah, 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 yeah. Valerie, he's good. Yeah. Good little right back. Um, I Ward, love him. Ward Prowse free kick. That's some pro evolution shit. Oh. Oh my. Ward what Prowse as well. This new gaffer at Southampton has given Ward Prowse a lease of life. I used to like Ward Prowse. I used to be like, good little player, you know, like a, a Z Tech David Beckham. Yeah. Good, good set pieces. Yeah, he's increased his lease from like yeah. 70 years to 120. Lukaku with the finishing was brilliant. Pereira's goal. Oh, that was brilliant. Oh. Yeah, the finishing in this. Spectacular. But this is the, the, the J-Lo for me because the next game for us is on Sunday. The race for top four is crazy. What? Chelsea, United, Arsenal, who gets it? Come on. Maybe fam. even Tottenham might drop down. I'll leave your com <laughs> comments. What's your favourite goal out of that game? I'm going to give it to Valerie's goal. Who gets top four? Let us know. Uh, look here, guys. The She Believes Cup was on. Um, it comes on every year where the four best uh, ladies teams come together. I think the USA organises it. It was 2-2. Two, two and um, oh, Paris yeah, Japan England. batted Brazil 3-1. Japan are doing bits, bro. Um, yeah, man. Let us know if you guys uh, kept up with that. I saw it on BBC One and I was like, ah, Arsenal, this. Ah, I, don't know how to go. I, was, I think Liverpool were playing. But yeah, let us know if you guys are, are keeping up with what's going on. And and England, England look good. England look good, and obviously USA have a great team. I've known historically Brazil. Shout out to Marta, she's called. Marta was Marta was called crazy. These are the four best teams at the moment, so hopefully England can carry that on and and um and do bits in the, at the at the actual World Cup. Uh, shout out to Dusty Football Philosopher who, who said Frank Kirby. That's it. I read your comment. Frank Kirby was on fire. Yeah, Kirby's a baller. Final games are on Tuesday. Let us know who you reckon. Uh, takes it and uh, who's your favourite for the Ladies World Cup? Who do we look out for? Why does, uh, we're just talking, debating this, why do they put women's football on at the same time as men's? Like, we like if it was a massive Premier League game, put it like after, like just, or before, or put the Premier League game before. And do, you know why, and do you know why it does upset me? Because one thing, I play a lot of football, um, football manager. And I wanted to watch it. I wanted to FIFA, watch it. Exactly, but, and trust me, one thing that you always do when games, when in the Premier, in the men's games, they change the fixtures to suit whatever, so they'll give BT a certain amount of games. Uh, so you can do it. I mean, look, guys. Yeah, yeah look, guys, let us know. Um, I would, yeah, let us know about what, should they, should the, the men's game be moved around and put on different times? Should the ladies' game be on at the same time as big men's football games? Because then, yeah, you can't watch it. So yeah, it's a good debate to be had. I think they should have it on different times, and they should show it a level of attention that it deserves. You know, where I'm coming from, and put it in time slots that people are gonna watch it, bruv. Uh, Real Madrid, Barcelona, 1-0. Uh, I watched this as well. Did you? What a, yeah, I was just in my bed the whole day, just I'm watching football. Good game. Um, yeah, it was. Once again, like, Vinicius Jr., he gets into so many good positions. The defending was good from Barca, but they dominated. And then one little counter, not even a counter attack, or one ball in behind, Rakitic, great finish, 1-0. And that's it. It's shut up, shut up, shop. I think Real Madrid's lacking a bit like of confidence. Vinicius, like, baller. They're in... He's a baller. Vinicius is a baller. baller. Look at this though. El Clasico record before Messi. Barca 66, Real Madrid 87. Since Messi has been playing, Barca 96, Real Madrid 95. Who is he? Oh, they've won 30 since he's coming. And Madrid have won eight. Who is he, Vuj? What is this? He's so good. Now watching Messi again, I was like, you know, I was calling him like Salah the Messi of, mm. oh hell no. Did you see what Jos Mourinho said? I don't know it word for word, but he was like, he's not good on social media. He needs to improve his social media. I oh, would yeah. pay top dollars mm. to watch Mourinho on Super Sunday. One million percent. Monday Night Football with Mourinho, Carragher and Neville. And soon as sometimes. Get me in the building. 
I'll convince him to do that. That is that's what Mourinho and Carol Neville. Oh it's crazy in the dunya. Barcelona are beating Real Madrid. It's, yeah, they're dominating. Um, wow. But yeah, look at this. Uh, Liverpool one boy behind City. Bayern are now level oh with Dortmund. God. Tables are turning quick. Dortmund lost to Augsburg. And uh, Borussia Mönchengladbach got battered by Bayern Munich 5-1. Uh, yeah, I mean, Bayern are feeling good. They're going into the game against Liverpool looking all right. Hey, football around the world's getting lit, you know. England, the germ germ. Even Scotty. Didn't Brendan Rodgers leave Celtic? Yep. Who knows what's happening with the, with the Gerardo? Yep. Mm. You guys, let us know. Can Borussia, <laughs> can Borussia and Liverpool turn the tables around again? Uh, wow. Lazio Roma, 3 0 to Lazio. Yeah, I'm, I've gone off a bit. I've gone off a bit. Yeah. I, I, I know who's won. Ronaldo's top goal scorer. Like. It is what it is, isn't it? Oh, snap! Oh. Balotelli! Oh. Holy macaroni. <laughs> Bro, I have to give it to Balo. When, bro, what a fucking done. We're not worthy. I don't feel like I'm worthy. The fact that he filmed himself live. Now nah, he's a legend. He took the camera off the, the cameraman. He took his phone off the cameraman. I'll tell you one. Uh, there was another derby in Belgrade. One of the worst games of football I've seen in my life. That first goal was one of the worst goals I've seen in a derby. No. In my life. It was like a melee outside the box the melee started. It didn't start in the box. It started outside the box. A man are just scrapping for the ball. The defender hits it towards the keeper by accident. The keeper comes out with another defender and the keeper volleys it. A partisan player, it hits him on the foot. It goes in yeah. and he celebrates <laughs> as if it was a madness. Bang, what? There's no rules. You see everyone just watching it and all of a sudden the ball's in the net. And everybody's like, yeah. It's like, well, it just, that, that can't count. Fam, the partisan fans are split into four sections. Because <laughs> they're beefing each other. But look, there's a lot of predictions. Yeah. But I say we talk about this on Friday because we did go through a lot. Good. Real Madrid, Ajax, Borussia, Tottenham, Porto, Roma, PSG, Man United. A very, really busy week. What is that? Song of the week for you? I have to go with Dave's new track. It's a good it's track. Very brave. I couldn't believe it. I opened my eyes like this. And I said to myself. I like our Sterling's in it. Bro. That was really good. Showing the gun tap. So after all of this, it doesn't mean anything. It doesn't mean anything. Nah, Dave, you won with that one. And Storm's in the video with his dog at the end. Bro, I can't lie. That is, that is Steven Gerrard, Champions League final. Second half. Oh uh, yeah, let us know if you have a song of the week. Hashtag song of the week. Do go on Dave's video and say that we sent you. But guys, boom, 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 boom. All right, leave you a uh, hashtag song of the week as we go. What a guy. What a guy to Vuj coming to that Serbian youth event. Uh, worth the trek to meet you, bro. Nice to chat to you about football and life. One of the calmest YouTubers about. It was too much of a guy to meet you. Keep on doing you, bro. You're such a calm, clam guy. <laughs> what a guy to the Indonesian under 22 national team for winning the AFF the under 22s for the first time in history. What a guy Vianic for talking like a Shelby boy from Birmingham and winning Shelby. What a guy for me to make an Ian write a cup of tea. <laughs> he did his case, what a guy to Romeo, uh, Romeo Park to Jamaica and done a celebratory flip after scoring. On topic of sofas, what a guy to Johnny Evans giving my school his sofa six years ago for a sixth year room. Now, have you seen? What the fuck? These scenes in these Jamaican <laughs> games, ever since I brought up Jamaican football in this show, you lot have just been showing me bare stuff. Oh, what happened? Bare stuff from the Red Stripe Shout League. Shout out to the couple. The Red Stripe wait, 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 wait. League. It's called the Red Stripe League. What? Jamaicans win. A man missed the penalty, they crossed it back and he scored. The people then ran on the pitch in the jeans, like, yes, boom, buckler, one, the <laughs> When I go to Jamaica, I'm 100% going to a game. I swear on everything. We're going to a red stripe game. Portmore. That's what I'm going to say. Portmore. Portmore they are here. Portmore. Top of the league. <laughs> uh, the country. <laughs> <laughs> See, vibes. Portmore, fam. Shout out Portmore. You're done now. <laughs> if, I'm, if you can go a step further, <laughs> get me a jersey. This week on social media. <laughs> <laughs> No, nah, what a guy goes to the Jamaican Red Stripe League. But <laughs> <laughs> like if you just zoom it like that. He just looks like someone I know, I swear. Hello. Shout out to Sadio Mane, bro. What an erratic player. So good, but so erratic. Sadio. Wait a minute. <laughs> no, <Nah>, Liverpool <laughs> are taking the L's. I'm sorry, this is bad. <laughs> a man took a picture with a baby. <laughs> P.O. Trophy, Liverpool, Man City. I love how they've ad tagged Adam Lallana. <laughs> <laughs> like, out of all of them, it's like, oh, there's Adam Lallana as well. Bro, Po, 50% of his name is Els. <laughs> <laughs>
percent oh, of the line is laying. There's three L's any second. Get out, shut the door, put the key through the letterbox, and never come back. That is a mad thing. Look, it looks like Specs if Specs was a unit. No, can I just say, Specs' Instagram post about this was genius. What did he say? That he inspired Lukaku to wear glasses and Bolt has to take it out for the things he said. Ever since I wore glasses, he's been copying me. And Specs, check out his interview as well as lit with um, Lukaku. Is he interview? He doesn't care, fam. Specs doesn't care. Love him. Shout out Specs, Lukaku. Uh, a, a really fun episode. Uh, That's I a great episode. Even, fam, I will be doing this on my deathbed. 100%. But yeah, guys, leave your comments below. Uh, Liverpool as well. Is that it? True. You have to beat the Germans. You have to. Well, guys, thank you for watching. We will see you on Friday, guys. Uh, yeah, keep leaving your comments below. Yeah.